Direct thrombin inhibitors, or DTIs, prevent blood clot formation. These drugs are often used in patients with a history of DVT, atrial fibrillation, and in patients with heparin-induced thrombocytopenia. In this mnemonic video, we'll cover the mechanism of DTIs, the drugs you need to know, and the common clinical uses. It's a historic day at the finish line of the inaugural Pixarize Marathon. The race just finished, and we are standing at the winner's podium with our first and second place runners. The national anthem is about to begin, and oh no! Elation has turned into violence as our second place runner has just punched the winner in the face. Do you see her punching out his two front teeth? These two front teeth should make you think of factor two. Two front teeth for factor two. Get it? Factor two, also known as thrombin, is a member of the coagulation cascade, responsible for forming blood clots. Therefore, these two front teeth getting punched out is our symbol for an inhibition of factor two. This inhibits the function of factor two, or thrombin, in forming clots. Recall that thrombin is a critical enzyme in secondary hemostasis. During secondary hemostasis, thrombin converts the fibrinogen, loosely holding a platelet plug together, into insoluble fibrin. This transforms a platelet plug into a stable blood clot. When you see the second place marathoner punching out the winner's two front teeth, you are reminded that direct thrombin inhibitors punch out the activity of factor two by directly blocking it. This is why DTIs are anticoagulants, because they inhibit factor 2A from forming stable blood clots. Still with me? Great, because there's one more thing to cover on this before we move on. But this one should be intuitive now. Know that direct thrombin inhibitors prolong thrombin time. Thrombin time is a lab test that measures how long it takes for a blood clot to form after thrombin is added to a patient's plasma. It makes sense that anything that inhibits or impairs the function of thrombin will increase thrombin time. In our case, it should make sense that a thrombin inhibitor will increase thrombin time. Got that? Let's move on. Watch the full version of this video and learn more about this topic by clicking above the left arrow. Click above the right arrow or visit pixarize.com to explore other topics we cover in videos similar to this one.